everybody and welcome to the real tarot 1123 i hope you all can all hear me right uh, and yes before i even get into uh, the video there are some things i want to make known uh, first and foremost yes i know there could be an echo and i say this every time in every one of my readings and i've said it multiple times there are things that i can do and there are things that I cannot do because this is a very temporary accommodation. Ooh, accommodation for me. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I'm going to be here just another three, three or four weeks at the most. Probably the end of September, I'm headed back home. So I am not going to go around spending a whole bunch of money to do things here to set it up like a studio. I just will not spend money like that, okay? the best way and i have actually gone back and watched my own videos to understand how bad is the echo i have found on my laptop when i go back and replay my videos if i reduce the volume on my computer it doesn't sound so bad the echo isn't so bad in fact i have noticed that the acoustics in this room is actually really good um, I am beginning to think it's probably because, you know, we are not used to that because, you know, most of my videos back home, the acoustics are different there because my study back home has got so much stuff in it, right? So um, I'm, I'm apologizing in advance. I, if there is an echo, I would encourage you to please adjust the volume on your own end. And also I have noticed that if I use earphones, I wish I had them here. Uh, earphones or whatever. Here, I think I don't have them. I might end up pulling everything. Uh, I'm going to show you what I got here. You know, these thingies, right? If I, excuse me, I'm obviously not <laughs> fancily dressed. Um, those regular earphones are cheapy stuff you get um, i have some old iphone ones or uh, apple ones or some stuff you get right you're, they're available at the dollar store and everywhere those really help so if you use the iphones and if you reduce the volume on your laptop or computer or your phone or whatever it actually is very very clear okay so that's that hopefully i've addressed that oh here we go again a little bit of rant right <laughs> i better note the time this is an impromptu reading, like I was doing something else, uh, doing a reading for somebody um, who reached out because uh, she's in a little bit of a situation and I said, I cannot get on the phone right now because I have other things going on. I've had a super busy day, so I'll just draw some cards and an e email it to you and I just got done with that and I said, I want to do this reading for um, Tristan Bailey and Aiden Fauci, uh, so it's an impromptu reading. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, I will do as long as I can. And of course, if I do have to do a second part, I will come back and do that. Um, I would, I don't, I hardly ever say, please subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up and this, that and the other, because I feel like I, I don't have to say it. That's almost like peddling my, my services per se but uh, because if you all like my videos you all obviously will leave a thumbs up or subscribe or whatever but i've been given to understand that something to do with the analytics of youtube uh, so that the more thumbs up and the more subscriptions i get they would be able to youtube per se uh, suggest my videos more often so if somebody is watching something else on this case that somebody else has done then my video will be suggested to that individual and the reason I, I, I kind of felt that that would be super important would be, like I said, the premise of me doing all these readings for all these criminal cases is just to get the word out, right? Who knows who sees what on my videos and they're able to connect the dots and something will come of it. So for me, the more number of people who see these videos, um, it, it, I feel is going to benefit you know the the victims and their families and law enforcement and whoever so i encourage you all if you're if you're not a first timer welcome to this channel um it's just little old me <laughs> doing my stuff you know a little brief introduction I've, do, I've been doing this for more than 30 plus years and just recently i decided to go into the digital world 
because my my uh, clients, people who come to me on a regular, they were like, you've been doing this for so long, how come you've never got onto social media? And I was like, yeah, I don't. And then they had said, because I had helped them in their own cases where I will not mention the names. And you may say, oh, well, she's not mentioning the names, so how do we know what she's saying is true or false? I couldn't be bothered whether you think, uh, you know, I'm pulling that out of my back pocket or not. People who see my videos, people who have consulted with me for the past few decades know what I'm talking about. I don't need anybody to validate that and neither do I need to prove myself. Uh, those who have lost loved ones in murders and accidents and suicides and they are the ones who told me why don't you have helped us so much and yes cases have been resolved why don't you go on social media and take your talents there and your blessings to help other people that's when i decided to go into social media right so and use youtube look, uh, as a platform so for you newcomers welcome this is basically what i do and i also do astrology and tarot reading etc um, so please subscribe and give me a thumbs up for all my subscribers and all the regulars on my channel. You all know how much I love you and appreciate you. And I'm so, so blessed to say that the, I feel emotional every time I say this, the, the viewers of my channel, you guys, you regulars and you subscribers, uh, you, you are just such an awesome bunch. Uh, you know, I have very... You know, rarely come across those few stragglers who want to create a little bit of a ruckus. I'm sure every channel has that. But for the most part, I have not seen any nasty comments to each other or little bit of, you know, uh, exchange of words type of a situation. Like everybody's been so, so respectful of each other's comments and, you know, opinions and all that. So I really, really appreciate that. I truly believe that, you know, let's not get into those those uh, power struggle type of things because at the end of the day it's not about us it's about helping these victims and the families so i appreciate each and every one of you for your comments for watching my videos for your kind words that in and unto itself is such a fantastic support and your generosity and your donations which is just i had to think really hard before i decided to do that so i thank you very much and i appreciate you know that okay so now on a little bit of a side note okay um People have constantly ask, well, why don't you give us the specific locations? Let's talk about summer, okay? As we know, she's she's on top of everybody list. Why don't you give us a specific location to her, where she's at? I have, you guys, I have. Go and watch my videos. I have described the area. I have described what it looks like. I've even drawn a rough sketch and I had something on my desk. I've showed it looks like that. Subsequently, in another video, I said, I described it even further. I can't do anything more than that, right? The other thing is, um, somebody sent me an email yesterday or day before whatever and said, do you take your readings to law enforcement? Have you called into all these organizations like EquiSearch and XYZ, any number of organizations, or has somebody else already called in? Look, I don't go and monitor and say who's calling in and look at the timeline and the date. Oh, they, they called in on such and such a date with such and such information. Oh, wait a second. I had already posted my video. So they came and stole my, my uh, what, you, what you call my, my um, whatever, you know, my knowledge and they are posting it like it's their own. I don't do that. I'll tell you why. Because I honestly don't care. Okay. And the reason I don't care is if anybody is stealing information from my website or my, my I'm not my website, my channel, and they go, because here's the thing, we all know with technology, you can have 800 profiles, correct? And you can have different names for any one of those profiles. You can create any number of email accounts, and then your YouTube channel could be under a completely different name. If you really want to investigate, you can find out because there's always a paper trail or an electronic trail, correct? So I have come to see because and find out because you guys, some of you have been sending me emails with clips of these other videos of these channels who have been using my information and y'all, this is what blows my mind, verbatim, literally, word for word, they are spewing on their channel. And you look at the timeline as to when that was posted, when that was recorded as opposed to when I posted and when I recorded it, I'm like, you guys are really crazy. You are like blatantly stealing. Like how is that even possible? And I'm kind of said, you know what? There's a way to handle this because when push comes to shove, if I choose to take legal action, it's clearly visible over there because you can check, right? So 
And another thing is, if they are using all this information to go claim their rewards or do this, because that too has come to my attention, that there was some $25,000 reward out there for uh, information or solid tips or whatever, uh, and they're like, oh, and they come and look, these are the professions and people who, people who go and watch every channel to see, and then they gather their information and then they take that to whoever and say, oh, this is a tip. At the end of the day, let me make this very, very clear, okay? If you are stealing anything from anybody, let me assure you that that is going to be a temporary win for you. Karma is going to come and bite you in your behind and you are going to lose 10 times as much. You think I'm joking? You may laugh at me and say, ha ha, that's fine. But mark my words. You steal information, you know, you steal knowledge like this and go and, you know, in a sneaky way, go and do all this bull crap and say, oh, I'm going to get my, my uh, what you call reward and I'm going to walk off. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to be the wiser of it. Honey bunches of oats. There is always a trail. And then if it becomes a legal situation, your suite behind is going to be on the hot seat and there's going to be a really big fire lit under your seat which is not going to make you very comfortable because you're going to have some serious burns. So do not do this, not just for me. Don't do it for anybody. I'm not just saying this to protect myself. I'm not even threatening you. This is a fact and I'm making a statement. So I was blown away y'all and I actually was given email proof. They sent me emails these good Samaritans and saying, hey, Kirtana, listen, so and so. And I'm like, all right. Duly noted, thank you for sharing that information. I'll, I'll deal with these thieves appropriately. So I'm giving you a chance and an opportunity to fix your boo-boo. And But of course, you know, they're criminals everywhere, right? They are never going to learn a lesson unless they're caught right-handed and, like I said, you know, um, their butts on fire. So that's a coming if you continue down this path. So that's that. As far as me taking information to law enforcement, there are some cases in the past where I have called in anonymous tips. Um, and the reason I say anonymous uh, in the past is because people are not that, even in this day and age, although we know it has been made public that there are a lot of criminal cases that have been resolved due to the help of psychics and mediums and so on and so forth. But for the most part, the general public is not too open and receptive, receptive to such divinations and divinatory systems and stuff a lot of people still think it's baham bug and a lot of people still think that this is a bunch of baloney so you cannot force it on people and i don't want my tip to be lost because they are already profiling me saying oh she's a cuckoo person just as Taras. she pulled it out of her back pocket so yeah 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 kirtana okay okay fine click no, I want it to be anonymous so they genuinely take it into consideration. Let's face it, not everybody in law enforcement believes in all this either, y'all. Okay, it is a fact. And I don't blame them. You know, you can't force your way or your beliefs on anybody else. So, yes, I have. And I also will state, I am very well aware of certain bigger channels and certain other comparable channels who watch my videos anonymously without logging in. If you really want to delve into analyticals, uh, uh, you can you can do that and you can get all that information and get the IP addresses and all that stuff. I have no problem with that. Please go ahead. I also get emails from people claiming to be opposing as just regular citizens. But instinctively, I know because I feed off of the energy, I can tell they are not just the regular citizens. They are law enforcement. They do not identify themselves as law enforcement simply because A, they don't have to and B, they don't want to because they again are coming from a neutral position because they probably are worried that if they say, hey, I am LE, that I might get my hackers up or, you know, maybe my, my, uh, my observations will be different. So they want to come at me at the ground zero to get information from me. I can tell. I have emailed back to them, I have responded to them, I have, you know, you can just tell by the way they, they you can tell Ellie the way they talk, the way they conduct themselves, the way they phrase their sentences, etc. And instinctively the energies I feed off, I can tell very clearly they are law enforcement. Okay? 
another thing is a lot of them also anonymously watch my videos and under um, I'm not going to say false pretenses, but under an alias username have also left comments on some of my videos and I am so totally okay with it. And the premise of sharing this is, is because I know for a fact that these people watch my videos. So I really don't have a need to pick up the phone and call law enforcement and say, hey, my name is Kirtana, the real terror 1123, I'm calling. No, it's there for public view. Let them do it. And another thing is constantly calling law enforcement and literally bombarding them with all this stuff. Somewhere something is going to get lost in translation, right? I feel like, you know, you let them do their due diligence. They have their own internal, you know, divisions where they just focus on social media. Come on, we know it. They watch YouTube, they watch Twitter, they watch Pinterest, they watch Facebook. They know they have their own internal departments or divisions where they have people dedicated investigators and detectives dedicated to researching people on social media, on the news and this and that and all that stuff. They know what they are doing. Let's trust in that and let them do their job. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. Secondly, everybody and sundry who has a video or a channel has an opinion and everybody and sundry, oh, come on, computer, don't freeze on me. Somebody said, wave your hand in front of the camera and it'll reset. Of course, it had to freeze because I was waving my hand too much, I suppose. Okay, camera, come back up. So um, somebody uh, I had watched, somebody sent me a link to a video and I watched it briefly and I kind of got annoyed and I just clicked out of it. Um, the, the gentleman, when it was a podcast, I'm sorry, not a video. The gentleman stated over there that uh, uh, a lot of people who go about doing these videos and all that are doing it for their own personal benefit, you know, for their two minutes of fame, two minutes of this and trying to bank off of it and make money and all that. Look, I'm not denying any of that. I'm sure there are a lot of people like that. I'm sure a lot of people think I'm doing that too. But let's also face it, there are a lot of very genuine people who are genuinely doing this with the sole purpose and thought process of, of having the victims and the families. That's the only thing that they have in their best interest, right? So they're, they're genuine people who are doing this. So please don't make a blanket statement like everybody's out to get money and bank off it. If you make a blanket statement like that, that blanket statement covers you too. So you fall under the same category too, right? So please, come on, be a professional. If you have nothing nice to say, just don't say anything. I don't ever leave comments. I actually hardly ever go and watch. Like this podcast link was given to me and literally four and a half minutes into the podcast when he made the statement like that, I, I was like done. I'm like, I, I'm not, I'm just gonna exit it. Because it bothers me. Yes, you, we, all these people doing all this research and all these videos could gunk up the whole investigation, right? But then again, guys, let's trust law enforcement. They know how to filter to, through all this. You know what really is gunking up? It's all these other little self-made groups who are claiming to be professionals and going out there and actually uh, trying to scan the areas and, you know, get into their cars and go and kind of literally stalk who they think is a criminal. You know, that is the kind of stuff that gets out of control. You're not a professional. You're not a government employee. Are you a private investigator? Well, if you're a private investigator and you're licensed to work in that state, then that's a whole different story. But regular people sitting in their cars and stalking them and doing, I've, I've heard of cases like that. Please don't do that. A, that's illegal. B, that's the kind of BS that gunks up everything. Then everybody's hackers get up. And, and really speaking, if you are, you know, parked outside the criminals, the criminal, the person who you assume is a criminal, parked outside their home, and obviously people will know, right? Then you are going to create a situation where the person, if he's he or she is a real criminal, they're gonna hopscond then it's going to be even more difficult for law enforcement to get them. You get what I'm saying? So please dial it down. Use common sense, y'all. And that's a funny thing. Common sense is the most uncommon thing in today's world. Isn't that sad? So that was my spiel. Uh, you know, I just had to share all of that with you all because I 
get so many emails, y'all. I get so many emails every single day. Not, I'm not talking about comments. I'm talking about emails from people who are like, oh yeah, that's a nice mugshot of me, right? <laughs> Thank you, camera. <laughs> so um, I get a lot of emails of people saying, hey, this, that, and the other, and people saying, can you check into this? Can you ask this question? Can you ask that question? Um, I appreciate you, you know, saying all that. I mean, I get it, but please also trust in me. I, more than anybody, want to ha ask these questions and want to get answers. I want that. So, some way, shape, or form, I would have already asked those questions. You just need to pay attention to the video. You will know. I may not have used those exact words, but we would have come to the same conclusion and had those questions answered. Sometimes it may not happen in the very first video. It may come up in the second or third or fourth video, but it does get asked. I assure you, I want, I, every time I feel like, okay, all my doubts and questions were cleared, I go think about it and say, oh, but I wonder this. I replay it all the time and I'm like, okay, maybe I should ask this question or ask that question. So trust me on that. I will ask these questions. But one thing that does annoy me, and I'm sorry if I'm griping over here and being a little whiny over here. One thing I, I kind of get annoyed with is some folks, the emails I get from some folks, it's very, it comes across as being very like demanding, like, how shall I say it? It's almost like you ask this, you know, the way they phrase it, y'all, you know, I understand where you're coming from, but then again, please keep in mind that, you know, before I'm a tarot reader or before any of that, I'm a human being, I'm an individual, I have feelings, I have, you know, that sort of a thing. So please be a little bit respectful in the way you all phrase your sentences because right out of the bat, if you come at me with all guns blazing, then I'm going to sit back and say, ay, 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 caramba. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not a wussy or, you know, I'm not an overly sensitive person and that sort of a thing. But it kind of gets a little, it, it, it's almost like when those emails get very demanding and very pushy. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, it's like very demanding and very pushy and very aggressive emails. Tone it down, y'all. I mean, it's not that y'all know. Whoever has emailed me, you know I respond. I may not respond right away. I may respond a little bit later. Same thing happened today. I was checking through my junk mail because somebody actually texted me and said, Kutana, we've been sending you emails and you haven't responded. This isn't like you. What's going on? And did you check your junk mail? And I'm like, why would I go check my junk mail? See, I never think about that stuff. Sure enough, I had 15 emails that had gone to the junk mail. I was so flabbergasted and I was so upset. So I started responding to all of them and saying, hey, I'm sorry, you know, it's nothing I did. And, you know, maybe, and now I'm going, this is the second time I've, this has happened. So now I'm going to make it a point every day when I check my emails, I'm also going to the mail, the main inbox, I'm going to, simultaneously also check the junk mailbox just in case anything is missing there. So I will get your emails. Please don't, um, oh there, hi camera, thank you. Please don't uh, think that I'm ignoring you or I pick and choose people. I don't do that. Now having said that, there are a couple of emails I've got where people are like, um, you know, uh, can you can you tell me if, if I, <sighs> I don't even know if I should say it. Um, almost like assuming that I am sitting here just doing social service all day long, 24-7. This has become my life, YouTube. I am not complaining it at all because the premise of doing this is to help people. So yes, social service. But please be a little bit respectful. When you come at me with your questions, please don't ask me silly questions. Come on. You know, this is not entertainment. This is not co uh, comedy. It's not, you know, um, stand-up comedy or whatever. It's not. This is serious stuff. So don't ask me silly questions. I mean, I'm going to say it. I'm not going to mention this individual's name. But this lady sends me an email. She has mentioned four different guys. She wants to know who the father of her child is. And uh, she says that uh, she's got the DNA of all the three guys, but the fourth guy, she doesn't have the DNA. 
this is how she's changed her mind. From saying four four guys DNA, she suddenly in the very next sentence she says she's got the DNA for three of the guys who are possible fathers to to the child, and the fourth guy. She's not sure of his name, but she thinks this is his name. She doesn't have his DNA, and then she doesn't have her son's DNA. And then first she says she she wants to know because at some point in time the son is going to ask who my father is. And then she says I don't have his DNA. I said you know here's the thing. I don't know about the DNA and all that stuff, but if you want a reading, you have to give me the names, the date of birth, place of birth, time of birth. And your son's place of birth, date of birth, time of birth, and yours, I can astrologically look and see and narrow down because, like I said, you can find out maternal and paternal because houses are very clear for father figures and mother figures, correct? And then she says, uh, I said, but if your son says he's not going to give you any DNA to see if it, if it to match with the, with the, with the father or whoever the father's, what use is all this? Like. You yourself are saying he doesn't want, he, he doesn't live with you and he's not interested. So it's like, make up your mind. What is this? Like, do you think I just sit here all, all day long just doing nothing and saying, people, you know, let them, somebody send me an email and please, please, don't, don't, don't do that to yourself and don't do that to me. I've had people who have sent me long emails about, some cockamamie story and I'm reading the, I read the emails y'all, I read every single email I get. And yes, there are a couple who have not responded because I'm like, dude or dude, just stop. Some cockamamie story and I can tell where this is going and I'm like, dude, you need to back off. Like, if you have serious issues, go to law enforcement, don't come to me. I can't help you with all that. And then you read the emails and you think these people, what are they? Do they sit at home and just smoke pot or whatever the heck they smoke and they say, oh, let's pick on the real tarot 1123 and let's just send her an email and see what she does. Let's have some fun. To all of those people, here's what I'm going to say. Take a hike. Don't waste your time. Go try somebody else because you ain't getting nothing out of me. I won't even respond to your emails. So if you want to sit and waste your time and type out emails that will never be answered, then you're just a fool, right? So, you know, you live in your foolish world. I mean, what can I say? You can't, you can't change stupid. So there you go. There you have it. So people, when you're right to me, bring me your genuine questions. I will help you the best I can. And also, please do not assume that every, every question, every email I get wanting a reading, I'm just going to do pro bono service. No, I do not. And yes, I do charge for my services. Absolutely, I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not ashamed to say it. If you have a problem with that, then you have to find somebody else. Don't come to me. Having said that, those of you who have received free readings from me can vouch for it. I'm not even going to mention your names because I don't need to. And you can never prove that I took money from you for those who of you who have received free readings from me. I don't pick and choose free readings just because, oh, you know what, eeny, meeny, minor more, I do a free reading for this one or that one. I don't do it like that. It's what my guides tell me. I seriously believe it or not, y'all, my, if my guides say no charge, no charge. And you're, oh, Kirtana, your guide sitting next to you and telling you don't charge with this customer. Look, I'm not going to get into what how my communication is with them, but I know that I'm not going to charge for this person right off the bat when I read the email. I, in my mind, I'd be like, look, don't worry about it. I'm not going to charge you. Tell me what it is and let's set it up. And I go ahead and I do that and I have delivered on it. So there's no preferential treatment. There's no priority. There's no partiality. It's just what I'm driven to do. But on the other hand, if you're just going to send me random questions and can you tell me how, I, how this is going to be or can you tell me how that's going to be? Honey, bunches of oats, you want a reading? You've got to pay for it. But don't just shoot. And so rude, y'all, so rude. Just an email, no hello, no nothing. There's no etiquette over there at all. Do I expect the same level of etiquette from everybody? No, I don't, but come on. I mean, common sense, right? Just say hello. I don't even want you to call me madam or miss or whatever. No, just say hi or hello. I have a question. This is my question. Can you help? That's fine. You just type out a, type out a sentence and expect me to, and then I don't respond. You keep sending me emails, keep sending me emails. You didn't read my email, you didn't read my... There's a reason why I didn't respond. 
So get the message, okay? So I'm sorry if this has been a long rant, but I just want to make clear, you know, uh, transparency is important here, right? Um, I'm not trying to kind of, I didn't do this to come across as being high and mighty or now she's got so many subscribers and she's changing or anything. No, if you have watched my videos from the very beginning, you know, I've been consistent in with what I have said, right? protocol, the way we follow things, how I do things, how I work, nothing has changed. I'm just getting so overwhelmed with these bogus emails. It's like y'all are wasting my time and taking away from those people who really need help. So that's the premise of this conversation. Oh my God, have you guys had enough of me as yet? <laughs> so half an hour of a rant, good Lord people. And if you're still watching, then you are a saint. <laughs> okay, video starts at 30 minutes and 35 seconds of course i will put the timestamp. okay so like i said everybody this is like a uh, like a what you call impromptu reading for tristan bailey and uh fauci let me see what's going to come out of this and then we'll take take it up from there i'm going to go with this I'm going to do it for Fauci, right? Aiden Fauci, or Fucci, however you say his name. People will ask them, why aren't you doing a reading for, uh, for uh, Tristan? And my answer is going to be, we know she's, she's gone, so leave that alone. We're going to focus on this, this boy who absolutely shouldn't... Okay, listen, I think I said it in one of the videos. I said, I don't care how this case is. I don't care if he's 14, 15, 16 or whatever, or two and a half years old or whatever the heck he is. This boy, okay, I don't have his date. Somebody asked me actually in an email, if you want their date of birth and um, whatever, uh, I'll send it to you. But I, I didn't have, I, I didn't say anything. I wish I had asked for it, but it's okay. We can always do a second reading too, right? Oh, excuse me. Tristan Bailey has adenoid issues or issues with the deviated septum. Let me start off. Secondly, he should never ever be let out of prison because he will do this again. He's going to go to prison at the time. This is the messages I'm getting. I haven't even pulled any cards. I've just not even shuffled them. 16 years sentence, he is going to be given an opportunity. There are very high chances he's going to prison. 16 years of his time in prison, he's going to have a chance of being able to, uh, what do you call that, appeal or whatever, whatever. And there is a fair chance that he's going to be let out. I'm telling you now, and as I say that, I'm getting goose flesh. He will be let out and literally within six weeks, he is going to do this again. So whatever the prosecutors or whoever those defense attorneys, whoever, whoever the attorney is for whosoever side, uh, for, for uh, Tristan's side, they have to, have to do everything in their power to lock this boy away forever. Tristan Bailey's trajectory in life, his purpose and his karma in life is to take um, life. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is to take life. That is the purpose of his existence. That is why he has been sent here. Okay, Tristan Bailey's, um, the purpose of his, him, purpose of breath being put in his life, in his body, was very specific and predetermined to do this. Okay, was he abused as a child? Was he that? Was he this? All that we'll get into. But you can, I'm telling you, you know, it's difficult for me to say these things about another human being, right? Because at the end of the day, he is a human being. He is, what, 14, 15, 16 years? He's essentially still a child. And and if anybody were to watch that, I mean, even though, even though their child is a criminal, it's going to be very hard for them to hear somebody say he's evil. You know, it's difficult. We are, as human beings, we, are, we have those emotions, right? Even though we may know and acknowledge that so-and-so is you know, a criminal and an evil person, to hear those words would be very harsh and hurtful. So I'm not saying this to cause more pain to the family, but 
the family is also really odd over there. Okay, I'll tell you that. So uh, this child is most definitely and certainly completely, completely like on a different level. Even if they do a psychiatric analysis or psychological, whatever they do, or you know how they evaluate and all that stuff, he will, he is, first and foremost, let me backtrack. Tristan, I'm sorry, uh, not Tristan Bailey. Aiden Fauci is brilliant. He is very intelligent, okay? Very intelligent. He knows how to play it. He has had all these years of his life to, to fine tune those skill sets, knowingly or unbeknownst to him. Because of behavioral patterns, he has had to use these certain behaviors over and over again as a child growing up to protect himself. And those behavioral things, patterns, have become, uh, what's the word? Have become his own okay what it's he, he has imbibed them as his own natural reactions or natural patterns so it's it's things that we are innately born with and things that we acquire because of our experiences and our environment so his experiences and his environment have made these all become his own natural self so he has not been able to he hasn't had that much of a life experience to be able to differentiate and say, this is not who I really am. This is um, this is something that my life's experiences have have made or brought forward or whatever. So that part of it is very sad, and and you know it is sad. At the end of the day, like I said, he's still a child, 14, 15, 16 years, however the heck old he is. So, um, but he should never be let out of prison, y'all. Never. Okay, and. Uh, there is going to be some kind of a news that's going to come out that um, him and another friend or psychic of his or whoever uh, definitely in the recent past have, before all this blew up, have tried some kind of a same type of a not really go out and kill but try to lure another young child and try to kind of do but somehow they didn't follow through and it fell apart. So. There's another peer of Tristan Bailey's who's also kind of been drawn in and they too attempted to that but somehow that child was able to get away or they couldn't lure the child in or there's something going on there. So whoever this other individual is, he is not a leader, he is a follower. Tristan Bailey on the other hand has the ability to to lead to draw in people who are attracted to his way and to build on that and lead them so he will he has the ability to take that group with him or to take people with him but in a very negative nefarious evil way tristan bailey i'm not tristan bailey good lord what is wrong with me i'm talking about aiden forchi if i said tristan bailey i apologize aiden forchi i'm talking about aiden forchi um so, uh, so I, I apologize, okay, it's just my brain is, uh, or maybe a, uh, Tristan is the one who's coming forth and she's probably knocking and saying, stop talking about him, Let, let's talk about me, maybe that's why I'm using her name. So let's actually do that, give her an opportunity to talk. So again, Aiden Fauci, no, do not let him out. And because I have slipped up and used Tristan's name, I think she wants to come forth. So I'm going to shuffle the cards again and talk about Tristan and then when she's satisfied, then maybe she'll let... Uh, let the energies come through for Aiden Fauci, okay? So please, you all, I'm not going to redo the video and do all that stuff. You know, I've acknowledged, I've caught myself, so understand that. So this, I'm going to ask for Tristan Bailey. Yeah, I mean, it happens when they keep, when I keep slipping up like that, it's a clear sign that that energy wants to come forth. You remember the beginning of the video, I said, I'm not going to talk about Tristan, I'm going to talk about that uh, Fauci guy. But no, she's knocking on the door. I'll be like, okay, baby girl, here we go. What you got for me? Show me what you got for me. Show me what you got for me. Oh. <laughs> happy child. Happy, happy child. And of course, I'll show you the cards. Right? This is nothing that we don't know about her, but I'll show you all the cards. 
Oh, okay, they came out together. Okay. 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 Okay, this is nothing new. We all know that, right? With the fool card, happy go lucky child, free spirited, very trusting, very sweet, very strong, stable kind of personality. If she had the opportunity to live her natural life and to grow up and be, uh, you know, who she is and, you know, a young lady and doing all that stuff, she would have come across as being a very free spirited, very loving, very open, very happy person. But again, there's a very great element of being grounded, okay, of, of being a very grounded um strong individual what do i mean by grounded and strong very earthy like uh like sensible responsible you know knowing that you have to do 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 this this, this and get there things are not going to fall into your lap you have to be enterprising be proactive she would have turned out to be that kind of a person and it's so unfortunate right that that she's been snatched away from us but hang on then we have number five okay five is about taurus right it is the hierophant is ruled by taurus and um it's about it's this hierophant card is all about having mercy and compassion and and uh, understanding and following conformity meaning she's not somebody to uh, buck the system she's not somebody who would go against the rules and regulations or against uh, you know do's and don'ts she would be very cognizant and very conscious about rules and regulations and parameters and boundaries and she was okay with that you know how some kids some people they just naturally buck the system because they don't like um, authority or they can't deal with authority she was not like that uh, I should say she is not like that what well, I don't know I keep saying was and is so anyhow um, why because I just caught myself talking about it in the past tense and now I'm talking about it in the present tense. It'll come, it'll all tie up together. There are reasons why some words just come out, y'all. It's not that I'm being, yeah, there are times when I talk so fast and it's like everything is coming. But sometimes certain words are very, very like pushed through me, if you will. And later on I come to realize, aha, that's why. So just bear with me, okay? Uh, don't pick on that right now. Um, so she she would have been great i mean like you know she could have i don't know been successful at whatever she chose it says law enforcement they're telling me law enforcement then she has a sun card which is so beautiful and the sun card as we all know correct the sun card is happy times expanding your horizons and you know going forth and living life and seeing things with clarity i would say like for her age for her age like as young as she was she was also a little bit more mature and even in the way she looked and even in her physical structure she was a little bit more mature than her typical age group yeah she had a moments of being a child and you know 13 years isn't that how old she was or how young she was and she had that you know that giggly little child and that sort of thing but there was also kind of a weird like almost an i won't go so far as to say an old soul but there was a weird maturity in her and if you looked at her, her eyes there was a sense of understanding and comprehending things that you would normally not expect a 13 year old to comprehend or understand to such an extent what do i mean by that like understanding what is marriage or the unity of marriage and the unity of relationships and you know the father's role in the family the mother's role in the family you know how things need to come together yes things happen you know we exchange words we get mad I, you know we we get mad at our significant other i'm not saying that the parents had any issues i'm not talking about that but she understood the dynamics of relationships in life far more than anybody her age would it, she just got it she just got it i am sure she has passed a comment to her mom sometime and said mom I, when i grow up i want to have a family like yours you're my role model i guarantee she has said that okay and i guarantee she has had deep conversations with the parents but she was I, I this is what she's telling me she says that i wanted to go to school and college but i didn't want to go to regular school and college i wanted to do something different i wanted to help people she's saying law enforcement and she's also saying medical field could be like nurse or this or that or something like that 
but but um, this young lady uh, Tristan she also I feel she, maths she's telling me math I don't know whether math was her strong point or a weak point I don't know but she's saying math okay uh, she wanted to do something and she's also very very she's got very intense Venus energy so it's all about her looks well clearly she's a cheerleader you know it's about the performance and even with the Sun card right it's all about wanting to be in the limelight and and automatically if she chose anything whether it was cheerleading or athletics or basketball or baseball or softball anything she chose she would have been a member of the team because she has that Sun which is a central energy here on her chart so the, so she would be in the spotlight okay it, it is what it is I'm also going to say something else she tells me that he used to watch her he used to watch her and she's telling me she did not much care for him but it was only at the distance she was like oh hi I like whatever she say she didn't care for him but he used to watch her that's weird and then you have number three okay the number three is the Empress card is ruled by Venus it's luxury it's you know all that fine stuff so you have the Sun card and the luxury and the Venus and the like I, before I even looked at it I said the Venus energy is so strong so she was all about that you know pretty things and you know typical girly little thing and she enjoyed all of that but she also knew that you know her whole life didn't revolve around that she also knew and acknowledged that that didn't define her okay she just enjoyed it she just enjoyed it okay um, and then you have the it's so f funny because we have the emperor the emperor is of course ruled by Aries it's independent it's accumulating wealth it's being a leader it's taking the initiative being proactive look how often do you get cards like this y'all let me show you the cards again okay this is Tristan Bailey okay this is a sweet young girl okay how often how often do you get such awesome cards and very rarely do these two show up. I think in the recent past, I've had one other video where they've shown up. Let me check one thing really quick. I want to make sure I'm saying her name correctly because God knows me and my big mouth, right? Um, well, I wrote it down somewhere here. Do, 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 do. Yes, Tristan Bailey. Thank you. So um, I'm just going to say that... Um, such an awesome person, such a wholesome person. She's the kind of a, a young lady who wouldn't hesitate to uh, help somebody if they asked her to help. But she was also smart, okay? Like, what do I mean by that? So, so if somebody said, hey, could you help me? She was smart and she would help, but she's also telling me, but I also knew and understood that safety first. If a random stranger came to me and asked me for help, I would, not just jump and say okay help without thinking or processing things first so she had that level of maturity in her which is awesome okay so let's uh, put away these cards or oh, actually you know what let these cards be here and let's do this yeah <laughs> clearly she was knocking on the door and she's like don't talk about that fool i want to say some things i'm coming forward and uh, there you go that's just her There you go. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So, I will show you. I don't know how long this reading is going to take you all, but we'll go as far as it goes. And when the time's up, we'll come back and do another one. Okay? So, don't fret about that. So, we have Aquarius, Virgo, Pluto, Gemini, and Air. Now, here's the thing. With Aquarius, of course, we know it's ruled by Saturn and Uranus. Then we have Virgo, of course, which is a very earthy energy, right? Virgo is ruled by Mercury and it's Earth. Then we have Pluto, who Pluto rules Scorpio, and Scorpio is regeneration and stuff. And then we have Gemini. Mercury rules Gemini, right? And Mercury also rules uh, Virgo. And then we have the air card, it's very cerebral. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Tristan Bailey had the ability for a body to heal, recuperate faster than most people her age, okay? She almost had, her bounce back was very fast. And I'm sure the doctors have at some point in time said, you know, sprained ankle, this or that, and whatever might have happened in her, if, if it has happened in her cheerleading, that the doctor, wow, we didn't expect you to heal this fast, good for you, girl, like, you know, that's funny. So she had that, that heightened level of, 
um, rejuvenation and regeneration within her. So it was just something that she was blessed with. Because Pluto, right under the sun, is saying, yes, the sun is shining on you. And if you had any boo-boos, I would regenerate really fast for you. And then with the Gemini card, I also feel that um, she had the ability to, to, okay, I need to get the tissue. I never have these things at hand. I don't know why. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, so um, she, what was I going to say? She had this duality. And what do I mean by the duality? Duality could be two things. It could be like the ne negative aspect of duality, duality or the positive aspect of duality. And the positive aspect of duality is like she would be able to appropriately conduct herself or present herself as and when required depending on the situation how she spoke to people she knew when to talk respectfully and be you know the child her age and she knew when to cut loose and be you know goofy self with you know she, she just she was just a wholesome little kid man I mean what the hey now there's another thing that she tells me okay she tells me that yes at times she did feel that she wanted to pursue a different sport but then she would vacillate. She never really acted on it. Is it on? Yes, it is on. She never really acted on it. But at times she felt that, oh, maybe I should try that. So I feel like her interests were in two different sports, not just cheerleading, but something else or gymnastics, cheerleading or gymnastics or something else. Um, so uh, uh, I don't know why I kept saying cheerleading. Was it cheerleading or gymnastics? Anywho, so it wasn't just that she was also interested in something else as well. Um, and she also was telling me that besides trying to pursue the medical field, she was very interested in all the Venusy things like cosmetics and makeup and all that. At some point in time, she thought maybe I should get into like uh, makeup artistry or hair styling or some sort of thing. And she also, and, and during talking with her friends and whatever, they were like, yeah, but every girl wants to be a makeup artist and every girl wants to be a hairdresser. So she's gone through that process. She's already thinking about what she wants to do and how she wants to live her life when she grows up. A little bit of, I'm not going to say old soul because I don't see that level, that, that, in her at this moment as I saw right off the bat with Summer, okay? So here we go, Summer is again, oh my God, Summer child, seriously. <laughs> I suppose we'll be doing another <laughs> reading for Summer, but she's like, yeah, hi. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, it just blows my mind. <laughs> so, I suppose there'll be another one for her shortly, okay? Stay tuned. So, here we go. So, um, I don't see that like old soul in her type of thing. Now, let's talk about Aquarius, right? And Aquarius is again, like I said, ruled by Saturn and Uranus. So, Saturn is all about limitation. Saturn is all about uh, confining and Uranus is about sudden changes and shocks. So, this was right under this. So there is a part of her that the fool is all about going off and giant leap of faith and being happy and lighthearted and spirited. And then boom, you have Saturn over here saying, whoa, 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 you can be, you can get away with that all the time. You have to ground yourself. You have to come back. So there was that Saturn and that sun push and pull in terms of there were moments where she was free and happy and laughing. And there were moments of intense energy where she had to kind of shut down and be focused. That's what Saturn does. And I understand because cheerleading and gymnastics or any kind of a sport like that you have to have focus you have to have determination you have to have the drive so that you get right now with the air card I guarantee you if anybody knows the family please confirm she had recently before she passed okay she's saying she used to wake up with nightmares and she used to talk to her mom she she's telling me she's closer to her mom she would talk to her mom about it and she'd be like, mom, I'm so upset. And her mom would talk to her and say, okay, you know, uh, you know, try not to worry about it and stuff. But she used to have that cause a little bit of stress for her because she used to have some kind of weird nightmares, which kind of shook her, which kind of scared her a little bit. 
So I don't know what that's about. Um, okay. She's, she's wanting me to continue, so I suppose this is going to be a focus on her, not on that phone, which is fine by me. If that's what she wants to do, that's what she wants to do, girl, right? Do I use this? Yeah, let's do that. You know, I have a good question, and my question is... She's telling me she was lured by him by the fool. She's saying she was lured by the fool. It's almost deceptively lured. It's like, hey, come join us here. And then she was lured by him. So, which is very unfortunate. Karan, can you give me another 20 minutes? Okay. So, um, I feel like she was definitely lured by him. And see, right off the bat, For long, for God's sake. Under false pretenses, she was lured. Cards don't want to shuffle there? Come on. Okay, there we go. Two, three, six. A older person knew something was up before it was up. An older female had a vague feeling something was going on. What are those two kids doing? What are they talking about? Somebody noticed, but didn't put, put two and two together. And we're like, oh, kids. Yes, she was lured. There were three other males around and they all left because they left. Okay. okay let me check. Three, four, five, six, wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, I got more cards. I got to shuffle this. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, that's correct. What am I thinking? Six, right? Nine, twelve, thirteen cards. Yes. She was definitely lured. She didn't want to go. It was false pretenses. Hey, it's like, hey, can you come and just help me or, you know, hang out with us? It, you're going to be fine. Very hesitant, uh, very hesitantly, she kind of, she kind of went along. Uh, she was like, oh, no, I really don't want to, but come on, let's go, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, and the way he lured her, I, and whether they say it or not, almost like, you know, this is really childish talk, but um, hey, I just want to kiss you, you know, that kind of the conversation led there and he started getting a little bit more pushy and she was like oh no that's enough that's enough and then he kind of he kind of got a little bit more animated and pushy now I will tell you this <sighs> at some point during the act of killing Tristan Bailey Aiden Fau Fauci verbally audibly said Oh, this is how it feels. Mark my words. Oh, this is how it feels. She's telling me he said that, which is giving me the real EBGBs. And I'm telling you, y'all, even before I did a reading for this kid, right? Remember someday, I don't know whose video I was doing or something. And I had said that boy should never be let out of prison. He should never be let out of prison. Because... He has now got the taste of blood. I, I'm not kidding you. N not like, oh, vampire and all this stuff. No, now he's got the taste of killing. Okay? He actually said, oh, this is how it feels. It's that 
that excitement, you know. Okay, this is very graphic. This is very graphic. I'm warning you, move on if you cannot take the graphic stuff I'm about to say. The first jab or the hit or the, the um, impact with whatever tools he used, I don't know, but I think it's a knife or a stone or something. He kind of was a little hesitant, then he got a little, so, so I'm saying with every stroke, with every impact, he started getting stronger and stronger and braver and more frenzied and more frenzied. It was almost like he was feeding off that energy and he was like, you know, that weird energy. Oh, that kid is not a good kid. That kid, I'm, oh, he should not be let out. So I hope they never let him out. So for him, he said, she's saying, he said, Oh, this is how it feels. And she says, what? Like her last, like at the moment when the injuries, how shall I explain it y'all? The moment, you know how they say there's a death strike, right? That the, that the impact that causes actual death, like there'll be impact, impact, impact. It's not like the very first impact causes death. Yes, sometimes that happens, but sometimes it's like there'll be all kinds of injuries and they're still surviving, they're still hanging on, but it's a kill shot, for lack of a better term. So when she, when her, this whole process was transitioning from, from the impact to almost getting to the kill shot, she still was conscious and she was still struggling and she was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off me, get off me, fighting for it and get off me. And she's like, what the heck is going on? What is wrong with you? What did I ever do to you? And he said, oh, this is what it feels like. She, she was shocked. She says, what? And then that's when the kill shot happened and she died. I'm, t I'm just saying that. So at least she's, at least, and there my camera is blinking. So it's like, <laughs> okay. And so, so that's okay. So, okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. Hang on. Okay, y'all, I haven't seen the forensics. I don't know any of it. I don't know whether the police have released like how many injuries or stab wounds or whatever impact points of impact she has. I don't know none of that. But he got so vicious that he also hurt her, um, her uh, below her navel, like with the knife or whatever he used. He actually jabbed at her there too, uh, or at least attempted to. I think he did. She, she's her, she's holding and she's saying, "No, no." So, uh, okay, hi, I can't. This is like crazy. It's just crazy, crazy. She's, she can't stand him. She's so mad at him. She's saying, I'll never forgive him. I'll never forgive him. She says, I will never forgive him. I'm going to haunt him. I'm going to take him down. I'm going to take him down. I'm going to take him down. Ah. She will. She will. She will. I, I sense that he comes from a fairly dysfunctional family. I sense that he comes from a dysfunctional family. Okay, let's, let's shift because her energy is like, now I'm shifting, she's like, I'm gonna take him down. I don't forgive him. He's he's not a good person. He's evil. He's evil. He deserves to die. She is mad at him. She's like, okay. show you the cards. Can you see? Okay. Okay. Um, we got the uh, six of six of wands in um, in the reverse. So six of wands in the upright is victory, awards, recognition, good news and success. 
So this was definitely not a victorious situation. This was definitely not good news, but it was a, it was a twisted kind of success for Aidan Fauci because clearly he thought he was going to get away with it, right? So it was definitely done under the pretext of something. He lured her to the fact, did he lure her with the intention of killing her per se? Not really. He lured her to try to show his dominance on her. He was going to experiment as to how he is a killer. He was going to use her as his first stepping stone. He was going to use her as experimenting. Oh my God, somebody just rang the bell. I'm so mad right now. Hang on, you guys. I'll be back, okay? Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So, this is what happens with impromptu readings, right? There's a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, so, um, what was I saying? So, he was going to, he lured her under the pretext and as he's, like, you know, as he's walking around, you can see the plan formulating in his head. He wanted to try and use her as his first victim in terms of how do you start? How do you begin? How do you lure somebody with the goal in mind that you're going to kill them? This guy is a killer, okay? And then we have the eight, okay? What is eight? Eight is the strength card, it's Leo. It's all about using your head, not your heart, having the courage and fortitude to, to do what you intend to do. So he was very intent on causing her some harm, but did that intent actually start off with the extent of I'm going to kill her right or no it was to learn to kind of formulate a plan and something shifted and then he kind of said you know with every strike every stroke he kind of got bolder more agitated not agitated bolder more stronger more excited more energy more forceful and it kind of fed into itself that energy and then you have the death card right here we go right in the reverse right it's it's 12 i'm sorry the hang hangman not the death card i apologize the hangman in the reverse right I'm, sorry the hangman we got the hangman right so what is a hangman the hangman is is all about you know uh, seeing things from a different perspective taking a chance uh, you know doing something that's not the norm for you so for him it was almost like an experiment with the hangman he's like i'm going to try something different excuse me different i'm going to i'm going to try something different remember i had said him and another peer of his a little bit earlier had tried to lure in a younger child i want to say eight or nine year old child and they were trying to formulate and and, and Aiden Fauci is the leader. The other kid, his peer, is, is a follower. They tried to lure this child and somehow they couldn't get the child out and something happened and the child got away. I don't think the child realized what he was getting into also. Something happened and by the grace of God, he escaped. And while all this going on, uh, Aiden Fauci's assistant, let's call that other child assistant, he kind of flipped out because somewhere he realized, oh shoot, this is not something I want to be doing. You know, I got sucked into this uh, uh, Aiden uh, Fauci's like crazy world. I need to back out of this. And that child had a change of of his his wiring reset, and he's like, I want out of this. And him and Aiden, I do believe they had an exchange of words. So that child, I hope to God, comes forth and tells what conversations they've had. I wonder if he'll come forth though. I want to say it's the same age as Aiden and I'm going to say the child is also a Caucasian child. Now, please understand when I use the word Caucasian child, I'm not using it to profile. I'm just saying he is of the same ethnicity as Aiden. So hopefully that will connect some dots somewhere. Okay. So understand that. Then we have three. What is three? Three is the Empress. It's ruled by Venus, but three was in the reverse. So when 
when when you say that it's ruled by Venus and it's luxury and this that and the abundance and beautiful stuff or whatever, if it is in the if it is in the reverse, it's lack of having an understanding or a perception of what what good is from evil. So he did not have he does not have that understanding. He cannot uh, separate good from evil and that sort of thing. Okay. And then we have the four of coins and the four of coins in the traditional tarot, of course, we know is greed and desire and long term security and holding on. But for him, look at this, this four of coins to me in this, in this scenario, it says that he was desperately trying to hold on to, to, um, you guys, hang on one second. Um, he is holding on desperately trying to finish the act it's almost like for him he started off and it and it gave him power it's like you can literally see him holding on like like he felt empowered I'm holding the steering wheel I have the upper hand I am empowered I can do this now uh, Tristan Fucci has also hurt his right foot but on the inside of his foot so this is the foot you have a big toe here you know that first knuckle there he has hurt his foot so I don't know. okay I'm, I'm definitely going to do another reading for this so absolutely there is so much to this case so much to this case it's not even funny See that card popped out again, the six of wands in reverse. Of course, I'll show you the cards here. Oh my goodness. The intent is very clear. Intent is very clear. Okay, this one. So let me show you the cards. Okay, one thing uh, Tristan is Tristan is not a lightweight uh, in the sense that she's a strong girl. I do believe she put up quite a fight. I do believe she put up quite a fight, and that enraged this fellow even more. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. This is all graphic. Please, please know I say this respectfully. I'm not saying it to be salacious or to be like scandalous or whatever. During the act of killing her, he was using extremely foul language on her. He was using very, very foul language, like calling her a B-I-T-C-H and, you know, use all the other, use your imagination. I won't even say it because it's just not right. He was using extremely foul language on her. And the funny thing is he was laughing. This, this kid is freaking crazy, man. I mean, they need to lock him up and, and not even throw the key. They need to melt the key and, and you know what I mean? He was laughing. It's almost like he had some kind of an enjoyment. I don't even see that for a fraction of a second he had any remorse while he was doing this. There was nothing in his mind that said, oh, Tristan, I'm, I'm sorry, Aiden, what are you doing to Tristan? Stop. The, you know, the hesitation, the doubt, nothing, nothing. Cold blood. Like he's almost like, um, it's almost like he takes on a different pers persona and he stepped out of his out of his body he's going to use that in court and he's going to say oh psychologically somewhere something is broken so it's really not me no no he's very smart you let him out he will do this again i oh my goodness i'm getting so annoyed okay this came out again okay six of wands is victory recognition whatever so that's come out again we have the four of cups right the four of cups in the traditional tarot is like um, apathy and feeling unfulfilled and all that stuff. He definitely has that feeling of being unfulfilled. This has not satisfied his craving, his 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 um, his craving for this type of uh, activity, and he does not necessarily feel that he has his one because he got caught. He wants to go out and do this again. He is definitely feeling okay. This is the ten of wands, right? The ten of wands is, is stress and exhaustion and too many burdens. He, for him, it's not so much a stress and exhaustion. He's feeling like because he's been caught, his freedom is lost. 
uh, his concern right now is not that he killed somebody or anything. He's like, shucks, I got caught. Now I can't go out and do it again. So his focus is on somehow I need to extricate myself from these binds and get out so I can go back and play the game of chess again. And this is in the reverse, right? So we have the King of Swords, right? And what is the King of Swords? King of uh, Swords is, is strategic thought and thinking. So he's like, oh, oh, now since I'm bound, okay, I can't go out and play a game of, this is playing a game of chess. I can't go out and play again. Now my playing days are over because I got caught. So that's upsetting him. And then you have the uh, uh, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is about new ideas and conflicts and having mental clarity, but it was in the reverse. So now he's completely muddled. The fact that he got caught is overpowering everything else. His focus is, I should not have got caught because now I cannot go out and do it. It's almost like, feed, oh my goodness, this boy, this boy, this boy. <sighs> Oh my God, y'all. I'm going to say this. There is evil and there's another, another level of evil. And there's another level of evil. Just like there's good, kindness, everything. This boy is on a completely different level. Okay? What I'm about to say may shock you guys, but I'm going to say it. If the Dharma guy and the Manson fellow and all those other crazy guys, right? If they were all to be born again, all together as one package, that's a level of, of evil in him. That's a level of capability this boy has. I'm telling you, he had best not get out of jail. He had best not get out of jail. If they let him out of jail, I'm telling you, y'all, that'll be the worst thing ever that our justice system has done. I hope and pray. I don't care what it is. Given the death sentence, I don't know, of course, you know, he's a juvenile now. Maybe try him as an adult. I don't care what the heck you do. But even if you don't give him the death sentence, right, even if you lock him away for life with absolutely no parole and give him consecutive sentences, I'm going to say 97 years. But at 16 years of, of, of time in prison, he is going to have an opportunity to appeal or whatever the heck they do or bring something in and they say, oh, it wasn't him, it was somebody else and then, who looked like Tristan, you know how they play that game, right? If God forbid they let him out then, because I don't have his chart, if I had his chart, I could tell you if he had a chance of getting away. Because confinement, confinement, okay? Physical, mental, emotional, financial confinements all have time frames, okay? Confinement could mean you're confined to bed, you're confined because of an illness, you're confined because you don't have a car, you're confined because you don't have uh, enough resources, you don't have a job, you're confined because you're confined in prison, you're confined because you're pregnant, you're not as active as you could normally be if you were not pregnant, even though, you know, a lot of young mothers, these are a lot of mothers, even in my day and age, I was swimming till I was uh, eight month of pregnancy, uh, you know, because I thought swimming was a great exercise with my big old tummy. I was happy doing it. And my gynecologist said, yeah, that's a perfect exercise as long as you're not diving and doing all the stupid things. You know, it's a perfectly good exercise. Go for it and do it. So I did that. You know, a lot of mothers are very cognizant about that. They continue with the level of activity, but not, it's different. As active as you are, there's still a little bit of difference when you're pregnant and when you're not, right? So with this kid, um, where was it going with the start? With this kid, uh, it's almost like his, 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 when he's imprisoned, I don't even know where I was going, but when he's imprisoned, his brain is not going to stop functioning. His activity in his brain is going to continue and that confinement is going to build up that energy where he gets so desperate he wants to go out. But if you look at his chart, you can tell for how many years he's going to be confined and if he has an opportunity to get the confinement to release. And what do I mean by that? For example, see now I'm going into a whole different spiel here. Uh, we all know Saturn is a very, very, um, is the one planet, uh, primary, prim, prim, it's a primary planet 
based on where Saturn is in your chart, you can clearly tell if that person is going to be restricted. Saturn does this to us. Saturn restricts us for many, many reasons to teach us lessons because Saturn says, no, 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 you need to be kept on the shelf for a little bit because you did this, that or the other. Or Saturn is going to say, I'm going to give you hard times now to see how well you fare. And if you fare well and do everything I tell you, then I'll let you free. Those sort of things. And it's not just Saturn, it's in cognizant with uh, certain other planetary positions in your chart. So if you look at his chart, date of birth, time of birth, place of birth to the point, you can tell if that 16 years of confinement is going to, there is going to be a window of opportunity for him to, to come through and be free forever or if he has that opportunity to get free is it going to be a temporary freedom where the planets again because of their movements and rotations he, ha he is forced to go back into confinement and if that happens it could be due to two things either he's gone out and killed let's say he gets paroled he's gone out and killed again and he gets caught and comes back or something changes and that opportunity of getting free is is lost while he's still in confinement you get what i'm saying and i know i'm speaking fast and my energy is pushing me so again hear me out so uh, he his again with the ace of swords it's it's new ideas and 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 um, conflicts and mental clarity there's no more mental clarity over there his only thought process there's his only thought process is i need to get out of this i need to get out of this i do not foresee him trying to commit suicide or not that i don't then you have the two of cups look at that you see the two of cups Two of Cups is romantic love and partnership and proposal and marriage. This fool, this fool, uh, Aiden Fuchi, is going to come out and say, I actually tried to, I really like her and I was going to kiss her and I actually, you know, it got to an extent where, you know, uh, I was trying to kiss her, it went too far and then I freaked out, I, she fell back and, you know, the usual book crap stories they come out with, I freaked out, I didn't know what to do and then I ended up killing her. He's going to, if he hasn't already, he's going to come out with that spiel. No, I won't buy it for a second. I will not buy it for a second, not one freaking second because because I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad. Ah. Look, pops out again. What is this? The Four of Cups, right? Look at that. Four of Cups. Okay, come on. Don't blink on me. Four of Cups is, is feeling apathy and unfulfilled surprises and gifts. He's definitely like feeling unfulfilled because he's like, shoot, now I'm in prison. I'm not satisfied. And here's the worst thing. He's, he's going, I got a taste for this. Just when I get the taste for it, why am I locked away? I'm just beginning to enjoy this dish called being a murderer and you're taking it away from me. He's thinking like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, this card had better not come out again. He is so mad. He is not a nice person. Dumbass. Oh, sorry. Bad word. Excuse me. That one slipped because I'm that mad. We have 10. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay. Then we have this guy in the reverse. Okay. The Page of Swords, right? We have the tower in the upright and the ace of pentacles in the upright. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. So with the four of cups, okay, there is no apathy. There is no none of that. He is definitely, definitely feeling like unfulfilled. Uh, they may come out and say, we're going to give you a, you know, because he's a juvenile, they'll say, we're going to try him, off, you know, you know, the, the legalities, right? How the court system works. So there may be an opportunity, but he's not. He's not accepting it. He won't. For him, it's almost like an insult. He's like, you really think, you know, he's, he's going to react like that. This fellow is, uh, and with the 10 of Wheel of Fortune, it's a Jupiter card, it's power, it's movement, it's fortune. It's in the reverse. So there is no movement in this case for a little bit. He's kind of stuck. He's, he's, it's almost a level of pride for him. He's like, uh, I wish they don't charge me as a juvenile. I'm an adult. I proved myself. I killed somebody. What? Really? You're going to try me as a juvenile? So, yeah. 
So the, uh, the, there is going to be a little bit of stalling in the case and he also understands that there is no movement for him, he's stuck now, he gets it. But with the, with the page of swords in the reverse, the page of uh, swords as we know, it's like uh, a curious kid and you know, prying eyes and etc. I have a feeling there's going to be one more child one more child who's going to come forth. Even though this card is in the reverse, the child is not going to keep his mouth shut. The child is going to come forward and say something. And there's another thing I want to say, uh, Aiden Quinn's childhood is done. He's no more a child anymore. And then you have the tower card. Yes, it's coming crashing down. He is coming crashing down. And here's the thing, here's the thing. This is the pot kit. Kisses is not out of me. With the ace of pentacles, they are going to try and offer some kind of uh, 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 bargaining thing for him uh, because they want to shut this case down really fast. They are going to bargain for a lesser sentence or however they do it because they, they are going to shut this case down really fast. They want to shut this case down because this is something beyond what they've even expected, the LE. They are going to try to do something. And uh, the, the mother, She's going down, baby. She's going to go down. Uh, Aiden's mom, very dysfunctional family. It's not just the mother, even the father. Father's even worse than the mother. The mother is. I'm just going to pull a couple more cards and I'm going to stop. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Let me show you the cards. Okay. Okay. What's the time? Okay. Okay. So we have we have uh, justice. Then we have the seven of swords. Then we have again the knight of swords in the reverse. Then we have the uh, King of Cups in the reverse, then we have the Star card in the reverse. Justice is going to be served. Decisions will be made. The court is definitely going to come forward and they're going to take a decision. There is no doubt. This is a very, very, very salacious case. They want to shut it down really fast because it's just too much. It's just too much for them. With the Seven of Swords, with the Seven of Swords, as we know, it's betrayal, dishonesty, running away, etc., etc. There is definitely going to be somebody who's going to be betrayed and I have a feeling it is that young kid, either... Uh, 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 Fauci's um, uh, uh, buddy and uh, he's going to betray himself too because of his stupidity and his juvenile he think okay here's the thing with this fool okay this uh, Aiden Fauci he thinks he's all that and his poo don't stink and you know he's, he's better than chips or whatever the heck right or however you say it what uh, yeah the best things is sliced bread or whatever he thinks he's better than all of that um, but he doesn't realize that he, he still, he feels that because he's done this, he's all of a sudden empowered himself and he is no more a child, he's, at a, he's, at a, he's functioning at a different level. So he, he's going to betray himself by his own stupidity and his, by his, uh, by his, uh, uh, coming, by his, whatever, give me 10 minutes, sorry, my son. <laughs> so um, he feels that, um, his juvenile, his immaturity, like he thinks he's something else, but his juvenile and immaturity is going to, he himself, that slip is going to come through, that's going to come through and he's going to let himself down. Get what I mean? Okay. And then we have the King of Cups, right? King of Cups is in the reverse, as we all know. No emotions, no emotions. He's going to play, he's going to play the game of, oh, you know, he's going to, he's going to, of course, my camera had to freeze. Come on, camera, seriously. Oh, he's going to play this game of, oh, you know, I'm mental, I'm not, I, I don't know, huh, huh, like that, you know. He's going to play that game and he's going to play with emotions. And then you have the star card in the reverse. The star card is, of course, the Aquarius card. It basically means hope and inspiration. But he has nobody coming through to help him. Nobody will. Nobody is going to come forward to assist him. He still feels that he's going to be bailed out and he's going to be let out because he's a child. Yeah, good luck with that kid. Seriously, good luck with that.
So y'all, I'm going to cut this short, okay? Um, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to post this and we'll come back and do another video. We'll pick it up, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. And I will leave the timestamps because I know there was a bit of a rant over there. So um, thank you for your patience. I am definitely going to do another video for this case, okay? Much love to you. I'll see you around. And don't forget, uh, Friday evening, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, live streaming. All right, see you then.